When a patient with AML is on chemo and spikes a fever, you've got one shot to act fast. A 56-year-old woman presents with acute myeloid leukemia. She's been undergoing intensive chemo for the past month. Over the last 24 hours, she's developed fever to 38.5 degrees centigrade, malaise, and feeling increasingly weak. In the clinic, her vitals show a low blood pressure, 90 on 60, tachycardia with a pulse of 115. She's complaining of mild chills and a headache but no localized symptoms. Her labs reveal an absolute neutrophil count of 400, confirming severe neutropenia. Her oncologist sends her straight to the emergency department. What's the most likely interpretation of the presentation? Is this sepsis, A? Is it B, herbal neutropenia? Is it C, tumor lysis syndrome? Or is it D, myelodysplastic syndrome? It's a medical emergency due to profound immunosuppression from chemotherapy. Broad spectrum antibiotics must be started immediately to prevent sepsis and death. The issue here is that it could be sepsis, but you should always think febrile neutropenia is its own specific thing. By definition, this is febrile neutropenia.